Oh, hi, I'm Andre, a solutions engineer at PD Upjohn. What I want to show you in this video, how we're able to annotate a live HTML website uh, using WebViewer HTML. Now, the use case for this might be that we're working on a project where we got to redesign a website. And, you know, it kind of went through the design stage and now we're at the building stage. And, you know, you kind of want to build it and show them you know what the web page looks like and provide them with ability to kind of comment, collaborate, draw on it, make their suggestions. You know previously how we would go about solving it, uh, you can convert the HTML that you just created into a PDF and then provide the users with ability to annotate on a PDF, which is possible. Uh, sometimes however, the kind of any animations as you see uh, some in front of you are lost. And as such, you know, annotating on a live HTML might be better. As such, I put together an example that kind of demonstrates that. Now, if you try to kind of scrape the uh, HTML website kind of directly and try to load it up inside of WebViewer, you're going to run into some course issues. So that's why I kind of created this client server. And first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to demo how this specific uh, example works. And then I'm going to go through the GitHub project, which, by the way, we have the source code available. You can check out in the links below. I'll post the links to the NPM packages I've used, and I'll provide the source code to the sample, and you can kind of check it out and try to build it yourself. And then in the second portion of the video, you know, after the demo is complete, I'll kind of walk you through the project structure, how I set it up, and yeah, let's jump in. Okay, so here what do we have in front of us? We have a uh, PDF Trans website, uh, which we can kind of go ahead and annotate and uh, mark up. Now, this is kind of a live uh, version. Uh, what we did, we went out and scraped it at that time and point, and now I can kind of annotate and, for example, uh, comment maybe to the developer or who else is working on it to say, hey, I like this animation. Post it, somebody else can come in and say, yeah, you know what, that's that's a good suggestion. I like it, accept it. Multiple people can kind of go in. And then later, it just makes your life easier to kind of go ahead and just implement the changes that uh, you see on the screen. Now, we can also just, you know, use any other websites. For example, let's go to our PDF Trans channel. So just type in the URL here. You can try it with any URL you want. You can provide the width and height of the page as well. And then just load it. We'll go out, uh, get that copy of the website in real time, and yeah, here we go. Uh, our website is loaded up. This is our channel at the moment. Uh, go check it out and subscribe. Okay, so now what I want to do is actually show you uh, how I build this project and put it together. I broke it up into kind of two uh, sections, client and server. Let's go through the server one first. Now inside of package one, uh, package.json, here are some of the events say dependencies I have used. I've used Express app to go ahead and serve the static content of the website with Scrape. Uh, I, and I also use Website Scraper to actually go ahead and download uh, recursively all the HTML, images, CSS, and JavaScript. And inside of the kind of the main index.js, uh, here's some Express setup to run on port 3001, uh, serve statically following directory, uh, set up the course, and the only endpoint that we have for this API is just website, which um, you know our client app is hitting and requesting it with the URL. So as you've seen here, this URL is being uh, deconstructed uh, from the query object. And then we're just appending a timestamp and kind of placing it here, as you can see. Create the website, download all the HTML, CSS images, JavaScript, and then provide a path back to the client uh, where they can access it uh, with that specific path. Okay, great. Let's take a look what's happening on the client. So on the client, it's just a very simple React app uh, that uses uh, PDF Trans Web Viewer, Web Viewer HTML, and a couple other libraries as well. And inside of our app, we have kind of our navigation component and viewer. And as you can see, it kind of just powers all of this and makes the request uh, to get and scrape the website. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and do let me know if you run into any prompts 